Hi everybody, it's Sally with Vintage Discoveries here with a vintage jewelry bag haul, unbagging, and a few other items. Oh, you may remember I had found this watch in a bag and I was carrying it around with me forever thinking, I'm going to do something with it. I'm going to see if it works, get a battery, um, and a watch band and I finally did uh, I'm not familiar with the name of it but I don't care uh, I guess it's is it Polina or Lolina I don't know um, I'm just not sure what that is but I loved it uh, because of the the moon you know it rolls around um, eventually and you could see the moon I think they call it moon phase or something face so it's gold tone um, I'm sure it's not any kind of worth any money kind of thing it just I loved it I thought it was really cool and I took it to the jewelers that um, he had uh, made some rings larger for me and so I wrote I brought some more rings there and this and took me forever to find the right um, band but I love orange so I felt like you know fall coming up I would really like it and he was really good because he um, this was had a silver tone buckle and he put a gold one gold tone one and I love it I don't wear watches as much as I used to, but I think I'll start. Especially that one, I just really like it. I can't wait to get my stuff back from him because I had found also, um, I should have showed you guys before it got repaired, but it's a, uh, a heart locket. I believe it's gold filled, gold filled, and it has some rhinestone set in it and they were open back so he said he could clean it up because it was in really bad shape so can't wait and this is nice oh maybe i gotta start what oh it's broken oh maybe he can fix that i'm wondering how is it possible to fix these is it possible? I guess I could take it to him and see. Because I would even wear this as a bracelet. It's just so pretty. Wow. I want to see. Um, Birchard? Something like that. Isn't that nice? Wowee. I love that. And I'm wearing matte, my matte press-on nails in um, kind of a turquoise electric blue. I love it. I love that color. That's really nice. I'm going to take it to him to just for the heck of it and see what he can do. This, I don't know what language that is. Looks like it's been welded maybe fixed or something i think that's silver what do you think i'm not sure pretty cool cameo but it's all broken up but this could be reused on something pretty cool and what else did i want oh what else did i take there um oh no, it's nothing that I took there. It's, um, I ordered a turquoise ring from uh, Turquoise Skies or Tea Skies. I don't know if you've ever watched the videos. They have, um, they're based in Arizona and they're, they do handcrafted Navajo jewelry. And it's Tea Skies is the, um, YouTube and they have live sales and then whatever doesn't sell on the live sale you can go to join their um, Facebook group it's T-Skies oh, what is it 
um, wow, I can't remember. I'll post it on here so that everybody knows what it is. I can't remember what it was. It's like a private group. You don't have to buy anything to be in the private group, but you can view the sales um, after and see if there's anything left. So I bought a turquoise ring made from one of the designers of the, the Navajo Nation. Uh, oh, I can't wait to get it. I'm supposed to get it Monday. This is cool. I guess you could wear it like this or you can wear it like, like that. This and that. That's pretty cool. Comet fever. Now you don't. Oh, now you see it. Now you don't. Oh, maybe people, you know how people go out to the comet sightings? Now you see it. Now you don't. That's interesting. Hey. I don't think I've seen an angel uh, tie clip like that. I don't know what that is. Is that a number? B A T T and T ink. Hmm. This has really pretty aurora borealis rhinestones in it. Oh no wonder, made in Austria. So they're probably Australian. Up. <laughs> Austrian crystals, never mind. Really pretty pink, pink and blues. Goodness gracious. And a little bit of sugar in there. A little sugar, but those are pretty. Ooh wee, what is this? A big kilt pin, perhaps? It's a mesh choker. Carolee. I wish I could wear something like that. I could back in the day when I was a kid, you know. Pretty cool. Uh, hair comb. Made in LSA. Let's see, Tilco? What's LSA? Oh, Sally. The U is worn off. <laughs> oh, boy. I knew I should have had more coffee. In fact, I think I still will. Because I have a little bit of a sinus headache, so I'm thinking, like, something... I tried some tea, but... Nothing like a good cup of coffee. I'm not even in the mood for iced coffee because it's kind of dreary and rainy. What is this? No name. It's got wood beads and some gold tone. Piece of wood. A key that says Hadassah. Hadassah? Scopus. Something I'd have to look up. No idea. Cute little dangle. Ooh. An articulated butterfly. A vintage chain. <gasps> With red dangles. Look at that. Ooh. I'm so happy it has both its dangles. Right? I mean, I'm sure that would be easy to fix to replace them, but it's just nice to have that. Pretty. Some pearl earrings that are gold filled. Nice. Look at the cute little cameo. Here's the other one. Aren't they cute? 
really cute. Those are really nice. I like those. I like the dainty stuff. <gasps> like this. I had a pair of these and I actually sold them on eBay. The enameled ones that the word escapes me what this is. I love those. 600 or 009? Take your pick. I'll go with the 900. Oh, more screwbacks. I love screwbacks. It's got a kind of, um, is it a moon glue? I don't know, but they're cute. This must have been a necklace. That's just attached to it. I like the clear balls. Those are nice clear balls. Oh, what a cool necklace. A little button thing. Lots of little buttony things. Oh, there. Another kilt type pin. A lot of these things. And these are buttons, right? From what I know, some sort of button thing, right? Not up on the buttons. Doesn't say anything. Why do I have already messed up my nails? These are cute. A nice big pearl. Can't go wrong with that. It's classic. They look so pretty. Another one of these. Another one of those little buttony things. Wow. I think that was it. This bracelet's heavy. have any name on it. Kind of cool. Another one of those. And a silver bracelet. Looks like silver, but... Oh, I thought I saw something. Has a little cartouche on it. It says 95 sterling. Mexico. I've never seen the sterling uh, bracelets with that cartouche. I'm assuming because it's not smooth. Because a lot of them I've seen the smooth bangles. And it will have the stamping in the inside. But I guess they couldn't do it on this one. Hey, that's kind of neat. I like that. And what else? Oh, I got these sterling earrings from Sugar Vision, Steven. I'll link his channel. He has sales over at um, Denim to Diamonds, I believe. Uh, and they have uh, some auctions on that channel. A lot of really cool stuff. So I've got those. And what was sitting on my desk? I had something sitting on my desk and I'm like, I don't remember even pulling that out of a bag. Must have got lost on uh, on something. And by golly, where is it now? I don't know. I'll find it. Uh, but I picked up, which I normally don't do, but some Betsy Johnson. I don't know if these are last year's or this year's, but... I love orange, of course, and I love jack-o'-lanterns and pumpkins, and I'm not selling it. I'm going to wear it because I love it so much, and I'm thinking September 1st, is it too soon if I wear it? I love that. I love it. 
and also this because I love the vintage, the vintage kitty, vintage look kitty. So that's a Bensie Johnson, and I couldn't resist. Um. Halloween fanatic and also vintage Halloween. And it's all like bubble. It's so cool with the Aurora Borealis around it and the glitter. My daughter wants this one. So I'm not going to sell them. Not for a while because I want to wear them. I'm going to wear both of them. She always, she takes interest in some jewelry. You know, she's only 15 now. But wearing it, she she doesn't really but I love it it's adorable can't tell you how much I love it and it's so weird that I had something on my desk and I said oh I never saw this before it's so weird and just like that it disappeared <laughs> it's crazy all right well I guess the next time but I wanted to show you guys that and when I pick up the stuff from the jewelers which is gonna be like two weeks unfortunately um, then I'll show you guys that stuff can't wait and oh also that um Navajo turquoise ring that I'm gonna be getting on Monday Hopefully it won't be delayed. That's so upsetting, right? Ooh. All right, guys. That's it for today. I'll have more tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye.